Now, I wanted to first ask you about Andre Ward, man. Now, it, it, it seems to me like it, it, he's in a, a very frustrated situation. He, he should be frustrated because he's the best, one of the best fighters pound for pound in the world. Like Andre Ward told me, back in the day, usually, you know, cats are chasing the guy at the top. Right, but it's right. like now, today, the guy at the top has to chase the guys coming up the mountain. Right. I mean, how frustrating can that, can that actually be, Virgil? Well, you know what? It, it's... Uh I told him a long time ago he would get to a point where the, you know, they would fear his name. And what's interesting about it is, is that of all the negative press he's gotten from, he couldn't take a punch or he can't punch, then, then I come nobody wants to fight him, you see? So, listen, man, Gray's best days are definitely ahead of him. He's a one-of-a-kind individual. I know that, so I'm in comfort knowing that, uh, you know, he'll be in that ring soon, mm -hmm. and um, he'll fulfill his destiny. He will fulfill yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, is there a little bit of a misperception when it comes to the fans on who's the tough guy? Because you got Gigi. Mm -hmm. He's saying he's tough. He's saying when he fought Rubio, mm -hmm. he said, oh, I, I like to fight someone like Rubio because it's going to be a real fight. Mm -hmm. Is he trying to say that Andre Ward is not a real fighter, but someone like Rubio is? I mean, how, how do you um, mm -hmm. interpret that? Well, you know what? I respect his brain trust, K2's brain trust, uh, Golovkin's brain trust. They, they have a plan for him. I mean, he's a foreign fighter. You know, for some reason in America, you have to build your name first. You have to build your fan base. And this is what they're going about doing, you know. And, you know, the fans don't really know boxing like they do. All they want to see is a fight. They want to see a knockout. So as far as the all the other things that meddle in, they don't, they don't really understand that. So to me, it's showing the ultimate respect for the simple reason that he said he would fight for Roger, he would fight Chavez mm -hmm. and people like that. And then, uh, you know, the reasons why not fighting Andre, it, it, it's, it's sort of baffling, but, you know, I can respect uh, what they're doing. It's, it's a business, and they're treating it as a business, and, and you can't fault them for that. You know? So you look at it as somewhat of a, of a contradiction, though. I mean, you, you're talking about, you know, fighting real fighters being tough, but then there's certain fighters that he won't fight, like you said, like mm -hmm. the best guy at the top around his division. Right. That's how you see it as a, a well, contradiction on their part, or what? Well, it's natural for the promotion to build a misconception that we want to fight these guys, but they don't want to fight us. Now, that might be true in some respects. It's not true with us, mm -hmm. but it might be true in some other respects. But at the same time, it's a business, and they have a plan for him, and that plan so far is working. <laughs> now, if Dre came along and stop that plan, then they understand what happens because of that. So they can't afford to put him in with Andre right now um, because what they have planned it might put an end to it. So they're doing what this they're doing what the they're right thing. Be. They're doing what they're if they want to stay undefeated, look, you believe. Well look, again, once you understand that this is a business, you have to admire the people who take that business-minded approach. And, and I know Golovkin is not scared of Andre. He's not scared to fight Andre. I know that. I know GGG is not scared to fight anybody. Um, his team, because they have a plan, would be Leary because it's really a bad style matchup for him. You know, they really don't understand how Andre can throw you off your game and take him out of his game. It's a bad style matchup. Mm -hmm. So, but I know GGG's not scared to fight anybody. Um, he's a champion and he's proven that. But I look, I applaud K2. I, I, I admire the way they're handling him and moving him. If you're going to be a fighter, that's what you want your team to do. And if they say this is not the right guy right now, I would do, uh, I would do the same thing. If we all had success in our business and we saw something that could possibly short, you know, stop it or derail it or put it to a halt temporarily, we, we don't want to go through that. You yeah, see, because it's a tremendous gamble, but listen, it's a gamble that he doesn't have to take right now. Yeah.